G'day there, and welcome to How to Do Magic for Dummies. Now, in this class, I'll be teaching you how to do simple magic that we learn in all different types of books, like Harry Potter. <laughs> all right, attempt one. When Guardian Levios. When Guardian Levios. Touchy, wouchy, lifty, lifty. Damn it. Oculus Repair. Oculus Repair. Oculus Ouch! Ouch! I just got myself in the eye! Leggy Beggy Growy Mori! Leggy Beggy Grow Mo Beggy! This magic stuff just doesn't work. Hey guys! I'd like to share with you just one quick story about Jesus. Now, one time Jesus was uh, teaching in a house and there were some friends of a paralyzed man, he couldn't walk at all, that heard that Jesus was there and that he was teaching and that they knew that if they could just get their paralyzed friend to meet Jesus, that Jesus would heal him and he could walk again. So they got him on a stretcher and they walked him over to the house where Jesus was teaching, but there were so many people listening to Jesus' teaching that they couldn't even get him in the house. So they pulled the stretcher up on top of the roof and they cut a hole in the top of the roof and they lowered their friend down right before Jesus. And you know what Jesus does? Jesus looks at the paralyzed man and he says, friend, your sins are forgiven. And isn't that interesting? Your sins are forgiven. This man had come to be healed by Jesus, but Jesus thinks, there's something he needs even more than his physical healing, even more than he's got a bigger problem than the fact that he can't walk, and that is his sin. So Jesus says, your sins are forgiven. Now, at that, there, at that, there were certain people there called the Pharisees. They were listening to Jesus, but they didn't like him very much. And they said back to him, hold on a second. Can't only God forgive sins? And Jesus turned to them and he said, What's easier, to say your sins are forgiven or get up and walk? And at that, Jesus said, I have the authority to forgive sins. And he turned to the paralyzed man and he said, get up and walk. And at that, the paralyzed man was healed. He got up and he walked all the way home. So the truth is, I can't do magic. I can't do the miraculous. I don't have the power to do it. Nor do I have the power to forgive you your sins. I might be able to forgive you for what you've done to me, but I can't forgive you for what you've done to yourself, to others, to God. And nor can you. We can't do the miraculous. We can't heal people of certain ailments. We can't forgive people of their sins. Only Jesus is able to do that. And what this story tells us is that just as easy as it was for Jesus to heal someone that couldn't walk, something that we can't do, it's just as easy for him to say to you, your sins are forgiven. So don't try to do things to heal yourself because we can't. Don't try to do things to make it up to God for the bad things that you've done. No, only he can heal your heart. And only he can forgive you. So when you mess up, when you stuff up like we all do, come to Jesus and pray something like this. Pray with me now. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you are so powerful, that you are God, and that you can heal me of my sin, that you can forgive me, that you have authority to do that. So I'm sorry for the wrong that I've done, but I trust that you are big enough to forgive me for it, just as you've promised to do so. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. Have a great Sunday.